Welcome back to the guide. In this video, we're going to dive into the essential SKSE plugins of mod installation part one. Okay, so first things first, let's create that separator. So I'm highlighting that, copying that. Go over here, click on a tiny wrench and spanner, create separator, paste, and okay. All right, so first mod up. .NET Script Framework. This mod is a framework for memory editing, native code hooking, and writing DLL plugins in any .NET language. Sounds good. Let's do it. Download. Uh, files. Uh, let's double check the version. Version 17. Version 17 sounds good. That's right here. So just click on Mod Manager. Download. And like magic, it shows up right here. And after that, just double click and click OK. Boom, nice. Activate it by checking it. All right, alternate camera conversation start. It doesn't say anything here, but I do believe this mod overhauls the dialogue camera work. So let's download that main file, version 2.44. Files, there's only one version of download. Mod manager download, download. Very good, close that out. Let's go ahead and install it, hit okay. And there's additional steps. We're going to um, manually tweak an INI file in here. So right click on alternate conversation camera, open it, go into SKSE, go into plugins, and there's the INI. Double click. So we're looking for settings, settings, F camera speed. So here it is right here. F camera speeds at 500. We want it to be 1200. So I'm highlighting it and typing one, two, zero, zero. Very good. V force first person. Here it is. V force first person at zero. We want it at zero. V force uh, third person. Right here. V force third person is at one. We want to set that to zero. Then B uh, switch target. Right here. B switch target number one. We want it to be number zero. And then B letterbox. Right here. It's at one, and we want to set it at zero. So what do these do? B letterbox enables letterbox black bars while in conversation. Sounds cinematic, but kind of distracting at the same time. Uh, B switch target, switch between player and target and third person cam. Yeah, sounds like a headache, man. Um, okay, and B force third person, force first, first person is obvious. Okay. That sounds good. So let's click save. Boom. X out. Close that folder. That mod is done. Very nice. Very nice. Moving along smoothly. Next up, address library for SKSC version 2 by meh. This mod contains header file and a database to make SKSE DLL plugins version independent easily. And we're downloading an optional file. Database for 1.5. Not version 2, but 1.5. Interesting. The files, optional. So many versions, I've already forgotten the number. Uh, 5.97. So, five. Uh, towards the bottom, there it is. Database for 1.5.97. Manage to download. Okay. So, make sure that's, uh, yeah, that's not an addition to, we're only downloading that file. So, double click. I just like where it's KC or DNA for us. Very good. Activate. Now, Better Combat Escape. An SKSC plugin that improves the vanilla game combat escape stopping mechanism to prevent you uh, stucking at combat. Probably getting stuck at combat state. Preventing you getting stuck at a combat state with super far away enemies. All right. So let's download it. Titles. Version 83. Yes. Download. Close those up and let's install it. So yeah, it is literally that easy to install mods with Mod Organizer. Pretty nice, right? Now let's move on over to Bug Fixes SSE. This mod fixes some bugs with game code. Sounds good, version three. Click on download, click on files. Click on download, version three. Boom. All right. Double click, okay. Press this to activate. All right, uh, special instructions. So let's right click on bug fixes, open an explorer. 
Now we're going to go into uh, Netscript Framework, Plugins, and we're going to double click on sseconfig.txt. Fixability condition bug enabled, that's this right here, it's set to true, we want it to be false. So let's do that. All right, after that, click on the savings, then close it. Close that too. Okay, moving on, console commands extender. This mod extends and adds console commands. Let's go ahead and download this, version 1.8. Files. Mod manager download. Download. Double click that. Okay. And save. Console util, SSE. This mod enables Papyrus scripts to execute console commands, version 1.2. Downloads files. Mod manager download. Download again. Let's go ahead and install this. Double click. Okay. Activate. Very nice. Copy and paste in console. This mod makes it possible to paste text copy to the clipboard into the Skyrim console. Version 1.01. And there's some special instructions. So download. Files. Mod manager download. Download. Close that out. Double click. Click OK. Then right click and open this because uh, we're going to do some uh, tinkering. So we're going to go to SKSE. Plugins. Copy paste to INI. Uh, paste code to 47 it is currently set to 207. So let's go ahead and highlight this. Type in 47. Then save it and close it. Close this too. Okay, moving right along. Equip enchantment fix. This mod fixes engine bugs where item enchantments don't apply when equipped or stop working while the item is still equipped. It's a SKSE plugin. Let's go download it. 1.2.4. Download. Files, mod manager download, download it again, close that out. Double click it here, okay, and activate, and activate copy and paste. All right, next up, face discoloration fix, eliminates the dreaded dark face issue that occurs when the game encounters face gen errors. Version 1.0.1, .1. download, files. 1.0.1, .1. that's a VR version, but we want the SSE version, so mod manager download, download again, let's close this, double click to download, okay, activate. Fixed note icon for our Sky UI, SKSE 64 plugin, uh, SKSE 64 plugin that fixes the letter note icon and type for Sky UI version, oh, there's two versions here. Okay, let's download it. File. So we want the main file, which is... Oh. No, that's just what it's called. <laughs> uh, official version 1.21. Let's see what this says. Yeah. We want this one. Boop. Download. And let's install it. Very good. Activate it. And now we're doing I'm walking here. Prevents NPCs from pushing you while you're walking here and having a chat with your friends. <laughs> Let's go ahead and download it. Version 1.5. Files. Mod Manager download 1.5. Download it again. And let's install it. Double click. Okay. Activate. Very nice. More informative console. This mod edits the UI to show a great deal of additional information on PCs, items, and other objects when a console is opened, similar to the way MFG console worked for Skyrim. Yeah, that's very useful. Like say you're in game and you find a weapon that's an awesome weapon and you're curious, hey, which mod did this come from? Well, you would open your console, click on it, and it'll tell you which plugin it came from. So let's download it, version 0.43. Download. Files. Mod manager download. Download. Close it out. Double clicky. Okay. Save it. I'm starting to feel claustrophobic over here, so I'm right clicking. Then going to de delete install downloads. And not to mention it's taking up space on your hard drive. It doesn't need to. Are you sure? Yes. Mum's the word. This mod removes the stolen tag from worthless items you steal, so long as no one notices. Yeah, sounds immersive. <laughs> Version 1.2.1, .1. download. Files, mod manager download, download. 
And let's install it. Double click. Okay, once the word looks good. And let's activate it. MPC AI Process Position Fix, a DLL plugin that fixes the vanilla game engine bug that MPC AI's process positions could not be updated after you waiting, sleeping, fast travel. Have you ever woken up in the end and the end is just stuffed with people? <laughs> this fixes that. And there's a main file, optional file, <clears throat> no special instructions for this, so you can install this as two separate mods. Download. Files. Let's do the main file first, version 4.05D. Yes. Go ahead and download it. Download it again. Boom. Let's install it. MPC AI process position fix SSE. That's a good name. We'll keep it. Let's activate it. And now the optional file. POS fixed. Immersive citizens patch. So let's download that. Download it. Now let's install it. So as you see, it's the same name of, as the mod we just installed. If we do that, it'll merge it into that one. We don't want that. We want two separate mods. So click the download. Uh, thing here, and then here it is. POS fix, immersive citizens patch, not so good name. Okay, and there you are, two separate mods. All right, let's move on. Power of Threes, Papyrus Extender, version 4.51, SKSE64 plugin that extends Papyrus script functionality with over 220 new Papyrus functions. Nice. Download. Files. And there's two versions, the VR version and the SSC version. We want the SSC version. Mod manager download, download, and install it. Okay, activate it, yes. Boom. Now we got Power of Threes Tweaks. This mod is a collection of engine bug fixes and tweaks. God bless you mod authors fixing Skyrim one mod at a time. Two files here, main file, optional files. We're gonna install these two as two separate mods. Download. Files. Let's do the main file first. Download it. Let's install it. Power 3's tweaks. Good name. We'll keep it. Very nice. Now the INI file. Install this if you download the mod for the first time. Let's download it. Okay. Alright. Power 3 tweaks. We do not want those names to match. So let's go down. And I don't like it just being called INI file. So... Let's keep power of these tweaks and just type in space INI file. That's a good name. Click OK. Two separate mods. Good. Close this out. Now scrambled bugs. A collection of engine bug fixes and patches made possible by the .NET script framework. Two main files, which means two separate mods since there's no instructions saying to merge them. So download files, scrambled bugs. Download. Double click to install. Scrambled bugs. Good name. Keep it. All right. Now, scrambled egg enchantments. Ooh, dad jokes. Gotta love it. Mod manager download. All right. Here we go. All right. We do not want those names to match. So drop it down. And we're going to call it scrambled egg enchantments. Yes. All right. Close this. And with that, I'm going to end this video because I think it's around 15 minutes. I don't want these videos to be too long. In the next video, we're going to continue on with uh, Essential SKSE plugins. Thank you for joining me. I hope you're enjoying the process. And I'll see you in the next video.